Hey guys, welcome back to another teaching here. So, um, this bird is based on a question that I get quite um, frequently asked, which makes a lot of sense. Um, can people, can someone steal my manifestation? Can someone steal your manifestation? Remember what your manifestation is. Your manifestation is the reality of your desire. You know, the reality of what you put into your desire and how you're going to achieve this desire. So yes, simply put, yes, people can. But before I get into that, let me just say off the bat, I'm going to keep this video short. This is actually a teaching that I reserve for sessions and it's not a money thing. It's a, it's a big conversation, that's why. Okay, so I'll keep my video short. But simply put, yes, people can steal your manifestation. No one can steal your heart's desire though, unless you actually allow them to. But someone can steal the manifestation of it. Okay, so let's just share a bit about it. Firstly, and I know this will resonate with a lot of you. Most of the words out there on manifestation is misleading, long-winded, and a lot of them to a degree, it's actual bullshit because they drag it out and out and out and out and out, okay? It's, 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 it's try to forget about all of that. Learn the truth. Stop. If you haven't, consider it. Consider having a session with me. We will speak truth, how shit actually works and operates in this universe and within you, your universe. Okay, how it actually works. So that's the thing to keep in mind. Also, please keep in mind what, when you manifest, if, if we really sum it down and take away those thousands of unnecessary visits out there, thousands of unnecessary books, it's a case of your the art's desire, right? What you want to experience in your reality. You have to see it. You have to write it down. You have to speak it. I'll get back to that. You're speaking it to your higher self, not to people. But you have to speak its vibration. You have to walk in its energy flow. I've made a video on this before and again. I get a lot deeper in my sessions. But it's like you need to move. But you've made no effort in moving. But you need to move. And you're even desiring to. But you've made no effort. Pack the boxes. Whilst that desire is there. Whilst you're looking. Whilst you're applying. Pack the boxes. Unpack the cupboards and so forth. That is walking in that specific energy flow. Which we can speak about more. Okay. Breathe it in. That sounds so simple and so fucking cliche. But guys, you breathe it in. There's so much to your being, your, the way we design, that we just aren't taught in institutions, in schooling, at home in general, you know. And those who grew up in church are just not taught things. That's another one. Besides seeing it, speaking it, writing it down. Breathe it in. Walk in it. Let's have a session. Okay, so how people can... Rob you of your manifestation. In some cases, they do it deliberately. A lot of cases, it's not done deliberately. Either way, the result is they can interfere and ruin and rob you of your manifestation. In the following ways, if you are speaking to the incorrect people about it, it's not necessarily their fault, but if you speak it to every single person about your, your desire, what you want to achieve, what you're going to do now, you're actually speaking it out of your creation. Because if you think of yourself as a being, Besides our external, as ourselves as a being, we are already a creation, a perfect, beautiful creation. We're just learning to how to access it, how to utilize it correctly. So instead of keeping it in you and slowly expanding into your, your multiverse as such, your multiverse, you are speaking it out. So be very careful of throwing away your desires and your efforts. So keep that to yourself. And this is someone you can truly trust who has your best interest at that will actually amplify your desire for you through the intention matches yours and again jealousy i've spoken about this before if people have jealousy of you definitely don't talk to them about your desires try not to even be in their company right because some people not some people i'll go as far as saying most people until we learn most people's vibration on a general level is actually very low and when your vibration is low right the next person and your vibration now is high because you have a desire by the way, which amplifies your vibration. Now this desire is feeding you. You've got to see this through. And someone is low. Having contact with this person, especially if you communicate in this desire, their low vibration is going to energetically and sometimes even physically stop you, get in the way of that manifestation. Does that make sense, guys? So keep, keep your distance from stuff like that. It, it truly energetically robs it away from you, the manifestation. And sometimes even physically, just through that low vibration, because that vibration now interferes with your vibration, because your vibration is up here now. 
you know, seeking this desire, and there's his ears, and if they, if you're in proximity to it's going to clash, it's going to fuck up your manifestation. Um, and another tip, you can literally protect it. Um, there are many methods, personal protection upon yourself, um, through meditation. I teach specific protection meditation as well, which I personally do for myself. Um, another technique is you can actually, if it's, um, for example, um, a very basic protection job, uh, you have a desire to move, you have pics of the house you either want to move to or the pics of a house that you're desiring to move into, put your name in there, etc. Around these pics in the jar, coarse salt at the bottom, top it up with like bay leaves, um, white rose petals, seal that, that's your intent, like keep it in a safe place. And every now and then you even just light a candle on top of it. During meditation um, is a nice time to light this candle. That's not a spell, by the way. That is just working with an energy. That's another topic. That's why, again, guys, I say if you really want to learn and uh, how these things work, have a consultation with me or hit me up for a spell for you and I'll give you the homework to do. Anyway, guys, be good or not. If you, again, if you like the bit, show the like, guys. Appreciate you. Be good or not.